Let's talk about the AFC South, a division where a lot of young quarterbacks. I mean, you have the Will Levis. That's where we're going to start with the Titans, the Trevor Lawrences, the CJ Strouds, and the Anthony Richardson. Three second-year quarterbacks. And like, I guess Lawrence is that wily veteran now in that division, believe it or not. So the AFC South, I mean, the Titans, were, that's who we're going to start with, a team that definitely does not have an actual – I mean, I'm not saying they're not going to win it all, win it, but I don't feel like they have a chance. They're all the way at plus 1,000 to win the division. Definitely not the best uh, best odds. $10 would win you 110 if you're going to bet on a whole season, you're probably going to put 100 and I'll pay you $1,100. I do not think that the Tennessee Titans really have a chance here. Get your future bets there, division specials. You can kind of go through the odds here. You know, usually the NFL gives me a little bit on here, DraftKings, a little bit more information here. Let me just go and find out here why this is not giving me all the different NFL betting odds because I want to go through all. There we go. Division winners. The Titans, I don't feel like have much of a chance here. Plus 8,000. They have the third worst odds to make the Super Bowl. This feels like a complete rebuild year. A year where, I mean, got no more Derrick Henry. Tony Pollard's in that running back. For the Titans to make the playoffs, I do not think, I mean, plus 425 if you want a really long odd shot to make the playoffs. The win total for the Tennessee Titans. I mean, the Titans this year... You all know it's a rebuild year, uh, six and a half wins, which is obviously a very low number for the Tennessee Titans for a team with Mike Vrabel that um, has been consistently good. And this year, Brian Callahan is coming in, former Cincinnati Bengals offensive coordinator. We've seen what he was able to do with Joe Burrow and um, Cincinnati. You are bringing in an offensive coach a little bit different than what you have seen. Um, let's go with some team specials. We try to find one one play per team that we kind of like with the titans it's going to be hard um titans score one plus rushing touchdown every game plus fifteen thousand. without derrick henry it's kind of hard to see that one plus t passing touchdown um you know i would stake this i don't think this is necessarily going to happen but that would be my bet of the day because ten dollars gets you fifteen hundred on this ten dollars gets you what place two bets another I mean, you can't par, you cannot parlay. Yeah, you can parlay. You can parlay it, but we're not going to parlay it. But our play with the Titans is going to be simply this, because I do not think the Titans necessarily are going to have a season of success. Really, I'm sorry to say that, which is not a problem actually if you're a Tennessee Titans fan, because the issue here is you're not sure what Will Levis is, and if he's not a good quarterback, you're going to find out, and the team's going to have a bad record, and you're going to be picking high in the draft with an opportunity to go get your future starting quarterback. So honestly, being bad this year for the Titans is not necessarily the worst thing, even though it is kind of interesting that they went and got Calvin Ridley, and they have DeAndre Hopkins. So, And with Tony Pollard, they do have some offensive weapons, so Levis could... Look, if Levis is not going to succeed with these offensive weapons, he's not going to succeed. Plain and simple. Um, there, let's take a look at their schedule because six and a half wins. I'm going to take the under here. If I was, if I was going to bet it, I'm staying away from this team because I really don't know what well Levis is. But at Chicago, New York, at Green Bay, at Miami to start this season, there is a road here to zero and four. Unfortunately. There's not many easy games on the schedule. Sunday, November 3rd, New England, easy game. Minnesota with Sam Darnold at home. I'm not going to necessarily say easy because they're a well-coached team, but not the hardest game. At Washington, I think they're going to be good. Since like You look at the schedule for a team that with this low of odds, the under just looks so juicy. I would be taking the Tennessee Titans on the under if I was to bet anything on the team. Unfortunately, I do not think it's going to be the best season for the Titans. If you're a Titans fan, I'm sorry to say that, but it's just not a season that I think is going to be filled with much success for this team. Hopefully, you know, Will Levis is your future, but if he's not, at least you're going to find out here 
pretty quickly. Let's talk about 